In this video, I wanna to talk to you about something that I truly believe is the most powerful, the most important thing that we can do when we go out there fishing. If you look at some of the best anglers in the world, they all do this extremely well. Some of the best tournament anglers, but whether you are a tournament angler or not, this is something that you can apply to your fishing and it can truly help you to just stay around the fish and always be able to figure out the fish when you go out there on the water. Now, before I get into that, I want you guys to know that we are having a demo day at Clemens Boats on May the 4th in Sandusky, Ohio. So if you guys wanna come, if you wanna meet me, if you wanna eat some food, if you wanna talk fishing, if you wanna go out on a ride on a new Icon, a new Bass Cat, we're gonna be doing all that on May the 4th. So I have put a link down below that explains a little bit more about the event. We are asking everybody to RSVP for the event so that we can plan out how much food that we're gonna need there. So guys, I would love to meet you. And if you want to, you can hit that link down below and, and, and I'll see you on May the 4th. All right, let's talk a little bit about this particular tip. And guys, this is truly something, like I said, that is it's, it's more easily said than done. And, and what I am referring to, and the thing that I think is so powerful that I'm really gonna to try to thoroughly explain here is simply keeping an open mind when you're out there fishing. And, and I know that maybe you're newer to bass fishing, so you may not know exactly what I mean. And, and really it's exactly what I'm saying. Keeping an open mind really means not getting locked into anything really when you're out there fishing. You know, we talk so much about finding a pattern when we're fishing or, or trying to find the right lure. But the biggest thing that we see, especially if you fish for a full day or even multiple days on the same body of water, is that conditions change. We have weather that moves in. We have water and current that can change on, on the flip of a, a, a switch. We have so many different things that impact the fish themselves. I mean, you can go from simply being sunny out to cloudy out. And all these things really impact the fish. And one of the biggest mistakes that anglers make is getting too locked into something that happened in the past. And when I say in the past, this can mean in the past from years back, this can also mean in the past from just a few minutes ago. Cause like I said, conditions are always constantly changing out there. And if you get too locked into things, Sometimes you can miss fish and you can, you, can, you can just completely skip over a pattern or you can actually be fishing on the backside of a particular pattern that is dying and you won't figure out where the fish are headed to. And I wanna give you a really clear and, and example of, of something that happened to me years and years ago. I was fishing a tournament down on Lake Toho down in Florida and uh, when I first got to Lake Toho, I was covering a lot of water and I was using a horny toad style bait and I was actually catching quite a fish on that horny toad bait. Uh, I wasn't catching a lot of really big fish though. And so um, anyways, long story short, throughout the practice period, I went from fishing that horny toad a lot to actually starting to flip and pitch. I found out that I was getting a little bit better quality bites by flipping and pitching. So I kind of just laid that horny toad down and I just really never picked it up. Well, come tournament time, you know, we had some changing conditions and the conditions went from really being pretty bright sunshine to still having a lot of sunshine, but having some like intermittent clouds, you know, just kind of a partly cloudy day. And I was doing what I was doing. I was flipping and pitching kind of a Cinco style bait in a lot of pads. And I wasn't really, I was just so locked into doing that, that I wasn't really kind of paying attention even to my surroundings. And in this particular area, I was kind of expanding in it. So I was fishing some new water and I came across an area where there was, there was some pads over here. There were some pads over here. There was pads, but in the center of all these pads, there was this big hole. And in this hole, there were some scattered hydrilla clumps. And during the practice, when I first got to the lake, this was the type of area that I was throwing that horny toad in catching these fish. Like I said, they weren't always big, but I was catching a lot of fish. But because I was so locked into flipping and pitching these pads, I didn't even pay attention to this opening hole with the hydrilla in it. And uh, guess who did pay attention to it? My co-angler, my co-angler in the back of the boat. And although I had a pretty good bag going, I think I had like 10 or like 12 pounds on that particular leg. 
and I really needed like a one big fish to, to bump me up. I, I didn't pay attention to that hydrilla and my co-angler in the back threw a speed worm and started reeling it across the surface, just like you would fish a horny toad style bait. And guess what? Kaboosh! Giant bass hit it. It was probably a fish around six pounds. It was a giant bass. He got it in the boat and I, and I was happy for him. But on the flip side, I had a perfect position at being able to catch that fish if I had just kept an open mind. But I got too locked in to something that I was doing and I didn't just fish the area like I would have if it was the practice. So this is what I really am referring to when I'm, keep, when I'm talking about keeping an open mind is that there are so many situations that we run out, run into on the water where one fish can really change your day. And, and, and picking up maybe a lure or a different technique to be able to catch that one fish can make a huge difference in your day. You know, whether you are, again, are a tournament angler or not. And if you look at some of the best anglers in the world, they are able to completely scrap what they have been doing and be able to adjust just like that. You know, maybe they realize that things have changed. Maybe they see that things have changed and all of a sudden they go from fishing deep like they had for a couple of days to all of a sudden they're like, you know what, I'm gonna poke up shallow, bam, I catch one, this is something, they run it and they figure the fish out very, very quick. Now, have there been days where I've done that very, very well? Yes, I, I feel like I have really started to be intentional about keeping an open mind. And I actually just did a lake break video the other day that's gonna come out on Bass Fishing HQ, where this was something that I, I kind of kept an open mind and it, and it helped me. I, I went from not doing very well in the day to catching a lot of fish and that video will come out in a little bit. But I don't always do it well. And so I just kind of want to talk and, and pontificate, I guess, about it because I just want you guys to know how important this is. Now, when you go to a very new body of water, it can be easier to have an open mind. But when you go to those same lakes that you've been to a lot of times and you've caught fish certain ways and on certain techniques and in certain areas, that is where it can be difficult to have an open mind. Cause a lot of us, we want to try to replicate what has happened in the past, especially if it's been something that's been good. You know, if, if I remember that one log that I caught a five pounder off, a lot of times I'm going to want to go back and, and, and hit that one log. So keeping an open mind, it's something that's so easy to talk about. It's easy said, but it's not easily done out there, especially when you get locked in to certain things. So always keep an open mind. Even if you are catching fish well, just don't forget to pick up that horny toad, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you might like this one right here. Also, don't forget about the, the demo day. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. I will see you guys tomorrow.